welcome back and if you're new here my name is Becca and today I have my 2018 reading goals and also my January TBR. <laughs> So this is my first new year on booktube so I'm not really sure what goals I should be setting so I've mainly focused on reading goals, not many channel goals and just trying to keep it simple for this first time to see how much I can actually accomplish when I have sort of a direct goal apart from just my Goodreads goal. So what I have is one main goal that I'm going to focus on for the entirety of the year and then I have some lesser goals which if I don't do I won't be too sad about but if I can do it as well then that would be nice. Then I have some things I would like to do but I'm not really going to consider them a goal that I'm aiming for just some things that it would be nice if I could do them. And as well as that, I also have some rough reading plans of things that I will generally be doing in the year, just to let you know what I'm doing. Okay, so my main goal for 2018 is to read the oldest books on my Goodreads shelves. So if you go into my Goodreads, which you can through the link below, and you go on my to read shelf and organize it by date you will see that the first book that I added to read back in 2014 it was the first book that I added and I still haven't read it so that have not changed that's literally when I signed up to Goodreads it's the first book that I added to my to read shelf and that is a Divergent by Veronica Roth. Now the reason that I haven't read this is because I watched the film with my friend and I didn't like it and that just completely put me off the book and then he said that the last book was terrible which then again put me off the book but now is the time to tackle Divergent like he's been nagging me for years and I know I've needed to read it for years but now is finally the time so this is the first book that's heading on to my January TBR maybe planning to read the rest of the series because they are also on there throughout January but we'll see how my other reading goes so Divergent is definitely on there and Allegiant and Insurgent are also sort of tentative TBR. My next sort of goal for 2018 is to read all of those books that I keep talking about that are on my shelves that I'm either not too interested in, want to read because I feel like I should, like classics and things like that, or I just don't know a whole lot about but they sound kind of interesting. So the first book that will be heading to my January TBR from this category is White Cat by Holly Black. I don't know much about what this is about, but I did read, I think, The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, and I really didn't like it. Although that could have had something to do with it being the book that I read directly after A Court of Thorns and Roses. So it's possible that that's the reason I didn't like it. So this is heading on to my January TBR, and I'll let you know what I think about it at the end of January. The next sort of goal that I have is something that I've wanted to do for a while. In the last couple of months, I've really, really wanted to do this. I haven't had the time with other books I've been reading to sort of slot it in there and do it. But in 2018, I really, really want to reread Harry Potter, the entire series from start to finish for the first time. I read these when the fourth or fifth book came out. I read all the ones up to that and then I read them every year as they came out. I've never reread the series. I've never reread The Philosopher's Stone or any of the books and I want to change that. So this year I'm going to reread Harry Potter. As for my Goodreads goal this year, I'm going to be setting it at 57 books. I always set it as one more than the amount that I read the year before. So, so far this year I've read 56. There is a possibility I will finish one more book before the end of the year, although that is quite unlikely. And if I do, then it will be 58. So we're looking at 57 or 58 for my Goodreads goal this year. Maybe doable. The numbers are climbing now. I remember when it was like 35, but we'll see how that goes. So 57 books is the amount that I'm aiming for this year. As for goals regarding my channel, I would like to get to a thousand subscribers, which I know is a long shot. However, I'm not really classing that as a goal because I don't know how to do that. I'm just going to keep making videos and putting out content for you. You guys choose whether you subscribe or not and we'll see if we get there. So that's sort of my goal but whether it happens or not we'll just have to wait and see. And as for sort of the things that I will be doing in 2018, 
I have my rereads planned and the way that I reread books is that when a new book in a series is coming out I will reread one of the previous books in the series every month until its release. So my rereads for this year will be Red Queen. I'll be starting my reread of the Red Queen series in February in anticipation for Warstorm coming out in May. Really excited for this, sort of sad and nervous for the series to conclude but I'll start my reread in February. The second series I will be rereading and also starting in February is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mars in anticipation for the last book coming out in I think September. So I'll be starting this in February reading one book a month up until September. I will also be reading Tower of Dawn for the first time during this reread because I haven't read it this year and I'm really excited for this after the way Empire of Storms left off. So excited to see what happens and I seem to be in the mi minority of people who think that Throne of Glass got better after Queen of Shadows. I know most other people think that it was good up until Queen of Shadows and then went downhill whereas I'm the opposite way around so I'm super excited to see how the series concludes. And the last reread I will be doing starting in I think August will be of Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Read this in October and absolutely loved it. Then read God's Grave this month. Absolutely loved it. So excited to see how the series concludes and I'm also super excited to reread it because I think especially in God's Grave because it took me a month to read. There's a lot that I've missed and will have forgotten so really excited to recap and dive right into the third book. So those are all of my sort of goals, plans, aims, things that I want to do in 2018. As for my January TBR, we have already added Divergent for my Goodreads goal and also White Cat for the goal of reading books from my shelves that I'm unsure about. Aside from that, all of the books that I didn't read in December will still be on my TBR. So the arcs and the last book in the Hush Hush series, they're all still on there. If you've been here a while, you will know that, if you've been here a while, you will know that me and my best friend recommend each other a book every other month. It's his turn to recommend me a book in January and that will be Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I will insert a picture of here because I don't have it yet, he's gonna bring it to me. This is by Becky Albertelli and it is about, I think it's about a gay teenage boy who's coming out of the closet. Not really sure, I don't know a lot about the recommendations because we recommend each other books that the other wouldn't normally read. I'm not really all that excited and I don't really want to read it to be honest, but we'll see how it goes. And I forgot to mention, my last goal slash aim for 2018 is to continue reading from my TBR jar. This has every book on my shelves that I haven't read in it and I like to use it because if I chose the books that I read, I would always choose the ones I'm really excited about like Miss Bond, Fallen Kingdoms, Game of Thrones and would read nothing else. So I like to pick from the jar. So it's kind of random and exciting and forces me to read those books that I don't really want to. <laughs> so every month when I do my TBR video, I will be pulling out one series and one standalone. The colour coded to add to my TBR and we'll see how it goes. The reason that I'm doing this in my TBR videos is because I have a tendency to cheat and pull things out I don't want to read and put them back. So if I pull them here for you then I can't cheat. So let's do this. Okay so first up we have a series. Oh no. This month I will be starting the Lux series which is on my Kindle. Is it by Jennifer L. Armentrout? Could be wrong with that but I will be starting the Lux series this month. I think the books are kind of long and there's a few of them so that's going to be fun. So there's my series pick and my standalone will be Station Eleven by Hilary St. Hilary St. Mandel. Is that right? So that's the standalone I'll be reading. Actually kind of excited about this and I would get it down but my night court blanket is in the way so we'll just have to insert a picture here. There's my January TBR, White Cat and Divergent, the Lux series and Station Eleven. Wish me luck, especially with the Lux series. But that's everything from me today. I hope you've liked this video and I hope you all have a fabulous new year. In the comments down below please tell me some of your 2018 reading goals if they're the same as mine or if they're different. Also please tell me what you think about my goals because obviously I'll be sharing them with you on my channel so 
your feedback would be appreciated. If you head into my down bar below, you'll find my links to Goodreads, Instagram and Twitter. And if you head to Goodreads, you can get a sneak peek of what I'll be reading next month and throughout the year by going on my to read shelf. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. That's everything from me today. Bye.